are long in the process, guys. I cannot show y'all any more videos at this point. This is where it's gonna be affecting us. So, have y'all heard interest rates are up? And from what I heard from loan officers, um, I've gotten different feedback as far as what's gonna happen in the next upcoming months and years regarding interest rates. Um, one lender told me that they were going to go down to under the 5%. And then another lender told me that it's a possibility that they're gonna continue to increase. So I was doing my research through Google and Google is basically, the through the research I found, rates is gonna continue to rise up until probably the next upcoming year and a half to two years or even possibly longer. So the question is, can we even afford a house? So. Interest rates have gone up, guys, since we contracted back in December of 2021. And yeah, so we were expecting a mortgage of a mortgage payment of 3000 Now, our house is in a price point of 750 So, well, I'm going to say 750 to 800 So anyway, um, with that being said, a mortgage on that is normally anywhere between five and 6000 uh, depending now for us specifically for Renee and I our mortgage is less is because we do not pay property taxes and as you know your property taxes is a big bulk too of your mortgage payment as well as your interest rates so you have the principal the interest rates the property taxes as well as your mortgage insurance and for those who also pay uh, private mortgage insurance which we don't on a VA loan I think conventional, but VA, conventional is a good way to go if you have the funds, but VA is the best loan out there if, if, especially when you don't want to put a lot of money down, whether you have it or not. And so with the VA loan, we basically are not required to put down a down payment. We do not pay private mortgage insurance, which is the PMI. And um, because we are 100% disabled veterans, we do not pay property taxes. So we are exempt from property taxes. So that takes about a good bulk off the fact that we don't pay property taxes off our mortgage. So I was expecting a mortgage around 3,000. However, with, top, uh, with interest rates increasing, that increased our mortgage. So it brings me to the fact that y'all, these, these videos might be in vain because I'm like, we're gonna have to work this out. We're gonna have to figure out a way. Me, I'm a problem solver and this is what I do. I negotiate, I, I, I solve problems, and of course I came up with a solution, I presented it, and of course it came back in our favor, and so we are moving forward. So how are these interest rates gonna be affecting us? So it is it, it basically has still increased our mortgage, but I was still able to get the rates down. Um, right now, there are a lot of, um, normally they normally, you have incentive that they uh, builders give you. Uh, you can use those funds towards upgrades. You can choose, use it towards closing costs, but you don't really hear them marketing a lot about buying points down. And I noticed that. So guys, if you could tell I'm picking up off where I left off at, of course, it's another day. My phone overheated and I just didn't have the time to complete the video. Oh, my break is on? Yeah. Okay. So that's Renee. Hey, Y'all know my wife Renee. So uh, this is where we are. So this is the thing. So I left off at how, you know, people, they, how builders don't normally market about using the funds to buy down interest rates. Well, that's what they're marketing now. And they're given incentive for, uh, you know, a higher incentive and um, basically to help cushion with the interest rates they're marketing user towards to buy down your basically your interest rate so anyway we we basically went through a process we uh went and um shopped interest rates we found the best one we presented it to the preferred lender and then of course if they want to keep the deal they'll match it or uh beat it and so that was the situation and then along with some other things that i'm not going to disclose because yeah Anyway, so um, anyway, <laughs> just know I'm good at what I do, okay? So anyway, um, am I going the right way, babe? Yes. Okay, so 
We got the interest rates down. However, we got to come out of pocket of just a little bit, not a whole lot, but a little bit. However, the way that's going to impact us is it dipped into our pool money. So our budget is not as healthy as it was before. We had a budget of 200,000. So I basically, we have basically, I looked over the finances, Bay was like, where we at, what we going to do? And we talked about it. And so we decided that, you know, at first we were like, okay, we just have to wait two years for this pool. And then I don't know guys, that's honestly, this pool situation is still up in the air, but what I spoke to the pool company and we were able to work out just the pool, a new budget. Uh, they gave me a new bid. And so uh, if possible, that's what we're gonna be moving forward on to make this pool uh, happen. We're just not gonna have what, babe? We're not gonna have like, what do you call the uh, pavilion? Is that what it's called? Yeah, uh, the pavilion, like the gazebo. Yeah, area. we're just not gonna have the whole outdoor kitchen bar area. I may, we may just have to build the kitchen off the patio, which I did not wanna do, which is why I did not extend it. And now I'm like, oh, like wishing I would have. That's why I like to think ahead of time in advance just in case something changed, something happens. We're prepared for it. And I thought it, I thought about it. And then I was like, man, we're going to go through with this whole pool thing. Nothing should change. But I did not take in consideration about interest rates. So anyway, guys, uh, we just left the house. It's so far along in the process, guys. I cannot show y'all any more videos at this point. I might up do a, up, I am going to do an update video just to let y'all know where we are and then maybe throw a couple uh, pictures in. But as far as a video, walking the whole house and showing you a video, I'm not going to do that because we're so far along in the, in the process that I just want to reveal it to you guys all at one time. And of course, y'all already know that there are going to be some changes, some updates that we're going to be making once we're in the house. Some of those are going to be right away. Some of those are going to happen over time. My wife and I already told me. What you told me, babe? Hold this phone because my arm is hurting. So so I told her that she needs to focus on one room at a time. One, one room, room guys. Because she has awesome ideas. And trust me when I say awesome, people come to the house and they're just like, oh my God, your house is so amazing. It is so beautiful. And she'll go from the living room to the bedroom to her office area. And I'm like, no, babe. Focus on one room at a time. And we'll go from there. Tilt it down some. What it can there you go. Mm -hmm. Not me. <laughs> you. I mean, I said so, what I had to say. Oh, okay. but the, no, let me rewind. Because I'm going to tell y'all, I told her, I said, babe, you sure you don't want to do the extent? Nah, we ain't got to the pool company to do it. Then, then, then. then I said, babe, you sure you don't want the outdoor living? Because that was one of the must haves when we was moving. We, she wanted the sliding doors. And I asked her, did she yep, do it? No. Doors. What happened? She seen somebody else with it. I regret doing it. <laughs> so. Sometimes just listen. Well, in yourself. Go ahead. I'm done talking. Uh, go ahead, babe. She ordering so Starbucks. I'm going to order right now, the strawberry so lemonade. Awesome. And can I have two squirts of the straw? What is the strawberry syrup? Yeah, she stopped recording. But anyway, I'm about to get me a Starbucks. And then we're going to uh, head out. And we're going to start looking at some furniture pieces. Because the option that I looked at rooms to go may not work out. Because it's no longer on the show floor. And so I can't figure it all out and piece it all together so that's a problem for me y'all because i have to do measurements and all that good stuff oh you almost broke my nail hold on y'all you sure you want one because i'm thirsty all right so yeah so we're gonna go look at furniture today and then today is oh my god guys today is my baby's birthday thank you Today is my wife's birthday and we're gonna be celebrating that today. And so I might do a video. I'm gonna, I wanna upload some furniture or something. I mean furniture, uh, uh, do a video on something different of uh, me and my wife. She's not in my videos that often. So today is her birthday. So we're celebrating in the gallery area. I got her uh, a room and it's it's really nice. And then what you got for your birthday, babe? I gave what her a gift that? each day starting on the 22nd. Today is the 24th, which is her birthday. So you got what? So, if y'all don't know, y'all should know I'm a huge Cowboys fan. So, I got some mats for my truck, and she got me a steering wheel cover, but it was too small, so we got to send that back. And then she got me this uh, cologne that my son Tilted uses that is, huh, what? I was just saying, Tilted, because you had it up under your chin. Um, the camera's on your okay. chin. Okay. Um, but I'm, not, I'm not a camera person, y'all. So, anyway, but yeah, then I got this cologne I really, really, really wanted, so. Yep. Yeah. And then she's also getting the, can I get a straw please? 
Thank y'all. But I'm happy. Just spending Thanks. time with my baby and, and enjoying this day and thanking God for allowing me to see another day of life. Amen. That's, that's all I can ask for and that's all I can be grateful for. Right. It's hot, y'all, but today is a beautiful day. Other day than being hot, we're gonna get into something, and I wanna see if I can record all that. And I'm gonna post this video. Whether it's, whether I think y'all gonna like it or be entertained or not, I'm gonna post this video. Whether y'all get two views on it, whether I get one view, one like, don't no likes, it don't even matter. I'm posting that video because I took the time to make it. And like I travel videos, I kept watching them. Like, man, these people are only here for the videos, the home videos. They're not gonna watch these videos. And now I'm just doing all this recording and it's like all my, my work and editing is going in vain because I don't post it because I feel like y'all are not going to watch it. So anyway, um, yeah, so the travel videos are just, they together, I, I edit them and everything, I just didn't upload them. So anyway, guys, baby, oh, I'm just hurting. I'll see you guys in the next video, but just to let y'all know, interest rates are high as heck. However, we are going to, we decided to go ahead and move forward with the house and uh, I'll give y'all an update on that pool once I had an update on that. My, but anyway. my arm not hurting, y'all. It's not hurting. Why you got it like that, then, baby? Like what? I'm going to the arms Oh, y'all, her stomach hurt. Anyway, until the next video, guys, y'all be blessed. I'm about to enjoy my drink. Y'all enjoy this, 20, uh, this Saturday, this beautiful Saturday. Be blessed.